Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. It's amazing that I can be sitting here on my terrace in a t-shirt. It's November. It really is pretty amazing. And that's also this whiskey. This is pretty amazing as well. And I always love the sound of a new bottle opening and that's what I'm going to do right now. The bottle that I would like to talk to you about today is quite special uh, because it's an, uh, it's from Signatory as you can see and it's an Edradar, or at least that's what it says on the label. But actually, if you look closely, you will see that it is actually a heavily peated Edradar, meaning Balakin. Now, this Balakin is a, a sherry cask, uh, so we've got peat and sherry, a heavily peated, sherried whiskey from the Edradar distillery, distilled in 2010 and bottled in 2020. It's just, it's just out. But this was actually bottled by McShelfy. McShelfy is the um, the Belgian Whiskey Club of the Year, imagine that. So they had something to celebrate, and they did. <laughs> but they were not the only ones. They uh, they shared the cask with uh, some other interested parties. For example, this one is bottled for Crombe, uh, Billy's Whiskey Barrel, Malt Whiskey Corner, The Bonding Dram, which is where I got my bottle, and Whiskey Club McShelfie. There you have it. So five parties, five Flemish parties got together to get a part of this cask. This is cask 195 and they've got uh, about 339 bottles of a beautifully dark, heavily peated, heavily shedded balakin. Oh. <laughs> this is bottled at a whopping 58.9% ABV. And you can see the beautiful dark bronze color even in this dying sun. Oh, this is so nice. And look at the way it sticks to the glass. This is going to be a full-bodied malt indeed. Nice. So, Balakin. Heavily peated Edward Hour. Sherry cask matured. 58.9% ABV. On the nose. Oh my God, this is... Yes, this is, this is smoked ham with black pepper. Some chewing tobacco. Roast beef. I get some cloves, some star anise, rosemary and dill. This is a veritable umami balm with just a, just a tad of, of raisins and plum liqueur in the back. I get a new leather bag. This is quite delicious, but very, very umami. It's more meaty than it is sweet, but beautiful. Oh, on the palate. Mm. oily very oily it's chewy in fact very powerful as well it's warming and, pe and piquant and, and oh my this is like a steak with soy sauce get me some cutlery this is this is a meal this is very umami again with with but with a sweet sweet note now but the whole is very harmonious very well balanced as well I get some dark and sweet gravy with a lost raisin in there. Oh, can someone please put another log on the hearth? This is, this is very, very good. The finish. Mm. Mm. Long, dark, sweet, smoky, drying. I think I'm ready for coffee and dessert. <laughs> I've just had a veritable liquid meal, but a very good one. It's very good and it's very satisfying. And now with the lockdown being prolonged in Belgium until the end of the year, this extra bottle will certainly come in handy. This is the kind of whiskey that will keep me warm during a very long, dark, cold winter. So bring it on. <laughs> a very good cask selection, McShelfie. There's a reason why you are the Whiskey Club of the Year, I suppose. This is part of it. A very good selection indeed. And it is still available in Belgium. And I know that many of the Belgian uh, uh, retailers ship worldwide. So if you want to get a hold of this one, check it out. Google it. You can find it. It's it's a beautiful Edred Hour, 10 years old, 2010. Heavily sherried, heavily peated Balakin. Wow. That's all for this week's scrambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's week's scramblings real soon. And until then, live fast, drink slow. May the mob be with you.